My name is Rich Harrington. As you work in the Adobe Premiere Pro timeline, you'll find that it's incredibly flexible as you start to drag things around. Let's start with the basics and move a little bit more advanced. First off, I'm going to make sure that I have snapping turned on with the magnet here. And what this will do is tell the clips to automatically snap to one another. So as I drag, you'll notice when it hits the edge, it locks into place. If I were to drag on top of another clip, by default, it's going to overwrite that media. So you can go completely or just partially, and an overwrite edit is performed. If you'd like to move things down, holding down the Command key or the Control key changes the cursor, and notice that it goes from overwrite to insert. This will push media, and as we perform that edit, you'll see that things are rearranged in the timeline accordingly. If you'd like to duplicate a clip while dragging, holding down the Option key will create a clone. And this works in both directions of dragging, whether you want to clone upwards to create a new stack vertically, or drag horizontally to create a new instance. When dragging, if you have the snapping option turned on, you'll notice it does a good job of staying constrained by default. With snapping turned off, an option drag can get a little hard as it's very easy to misalign the clip if you truly are going for a straight clone. If you'd like to move audio and video independently, you could do that. Normally with the link clip, dragging will keep the two tracks together, audio and video. However, an option click will select just one track and temporarily break sync. You have to be careful though. Notice because I held option down, it cloned the clip while dragging. So what you want to do is click and drag holding option and then just let go. With the option key released, you can now drag to reposition. In this case, the numbers are indicating that the two clips are out of sync by about five seconds. I could right click on those numbers if I'd like and choose move into sync to restore that. If I'd like to reposition audio and video, I could do that too. As I drag here, I could start to drag up and notice that that's going to go ahead and move the video clip. If I hold down the shift key, I can come down to the audio track here and pull that as well to a new track. When I release, the clip is repositioned. If you'd like to rearrange clips within your sequence, you could do that too. If I hold down Command and Option on a Mac, that's Control Alt on a PC, you'll see a swap edit, which moves the two pieces. Let's turn on snapping to make that easier. And as I drag here, you'll see that the yellow arrow indicates that one clip's going to go back, the other's going to move forward, and that they'll ripple with each other, creating a relative relationship. This allows us to swap the order of two clips. And it's very useful as you try to rearrange a sequence. All right, lots of different things you could do while dragging and rearranging in the timeline, but altogether, pretty straightforward once you get the hang of just a couple of modifier keys and some default behaviors.